Tonight we have the most up-to-date information on what public health officials are calling breakthrough cases of COVID. So that's when a person gets a COVID vaccine, but then winds up getting the virus anyway. King 5 Steve Solis joins us with the story. Steve. Mark Joyce, good evening. So let's talk just a little bit about this term breakthrough cases. That's when a person who is fully vaccinated actually contracts that same virus they were vaccinated for. Health leaders say it's actually pretty common. It happens every year with the flu. Now, you may be at home tonight kind of worried. The Washington Department, the State Department of Health says you really shouldn't be. This long-anticipated shot in the arm is meant to ward off COVID-19. It brings comfort and protection, but that was not the case for more than 100 Washingtonians who received the vaccine. This is not unexpected. Uh, the age group of the people we vaccinated were much older folks. Dr. Scott Lindquist with the Washington Department of Health says they expected these breakthrough cases. So far, more than 1.2 million people in our state have been fully vaccinated from COVID-19. The Department of Health says of those vaccinated, 102 have since tested positive for the virus. Out of that group, eight have been hospitalized and two people have died after contracting COVID-19. We're told both were older than 80 and had underlying health issues. So I do think we are probably missing some cases. I'm not sure how many that would be, which is why I consulted with the CDC. I had the CDC come in and model how many cases should we be seeing, symptomatic or not? Uh, how many should we be seeing in Washington state? And they gave me a range and we were right in the center of that range. Dr. Linquist says only half of the patients with these breakthrough cases showed symptoms. But if you're without symptoms, I imagine we are not seeing all those. So there probably are more breakthrough cases that are not symptomatic, who are not going into their provider to get tested. Still, the Washington Department of Health says getting the vaccine is still the best way to avoid contracting COVID-19. So here's something to remember. CDC data says that these vaccines are extremely effective, but you got to remember, not 100% effective. That's why we're continuing to be reminded whether you get the vaccine or not, that we need to mask up, wash up, and always socially distance whenever possible. Mark. Well, thank you, Steve. We'd like to take a minute to welcome you to the King 5 team. You at home will be seeing Steve during the week out in the field and also on the anchor desk on Saturdays and Sundays. And Steve just welcomed a brand new baby boy. So Steve, new job, new boy. You're a busy man. I mean, if you're going to do live changes, just do them all at the same time, right? Yeah, it's good to have you here, Steve. Look forward to seeing more of you on the air. Well, back to vaccines now. Some great news for parents worried about sending their kids back to school in the fall. Pfizer says its vaccine was 100% effective in preventing infection in trials involving kids 12 to 15 years 